So welcome to another exciting project that I started about um, a couple of days ago designing. It's culminated into this particular structure that I've designed and printed out. Uh, if you look at this here, this is where you're going to have your wires come through. Um, and obviously this is the front piece, this is the back piece. Server goes in here, more wires. And as you will come to learn, you can actually plug in one of your Uno size kind of microcontrollers over here. Uh, and corresponding to these are... Um, the corresponding um, bottom piece for your front piece and obviously the corresponding piece um, for your bottom piece. Motor holders, you're going to need two of these. You're going to need, uh, for now, uh, your 20 millimeter standoffs and we're going to see how you're going to go ahead and mount the TT gear motors onto it. And hopefully, time allowing, we're going to mount a microcontroller. And lastly, we're going to attempt to mount your your battery holders. And, and, and I love these. These are the 18650 battery holders. You can pick up um, um, lots of these for a very low price. Let's get started. So... These motor holders, um, they have, as you can imagine, they have little holes, and these are your M3 screws. And I've opted for the big ish ones, these are about 40. But as you can see, you can actually do very well with your 35mm ones, still M3 obviously. Um, and all you gotta do is. Um, Put your nuts in here now the next part is basically where you assuming this nut goes in anytime soon great stuff so obviously you're going to tighten this and eventually your structure will look something like this if you notice there's bolts here just you know, I've, I've got two uh, you can use it um, i'm sorry the holes uh, you can use other ones for whatever other purposes and if you notice here there's also holes in here so these will firmly plug in like so now let's go on ahead and mount this and see how it looks so you need to grab your 20 millimeter um, standoffs these will plug in right over here let's use this side right over there and what you then have is a structure where, as you can see, there's further holes here that you can use. Is a structure that looks something like this. Okay. Let's fit it in and see how it looks. So what I've got so far is I've got my 40 millimeter. Um, let's just, there we go just about right 40 millimeter uh, bolts and I've got my 20 millimeter standoffs and I've pushed these onto the top main structure and obviously that's a rare piece and that will plug in onto here so let's do that as you can see this piece the bottom piece plugs in firmly like so if I'm able to push this, there we go, it's in, right? As you might have guessed, the bottom plate will then come on and it's got little holes where these screws can go and then you bolt it on. And behold, welcome to the first rear end build of this particular chassis. As you can see, there's a little bit of space here. That's by design. This is nice and solid. Um, now if you look at these here, and again, if you look at these, there's space to actually, uh, this is a hole here. These are 3M holes that you can further design some other uh, sleek sort of extensions to mount onto it. But in its current form, 
this is how it looks and obviously your wheels will go on to here.